All right, so hands on challenge time for create and use custom controllers. So let's go ahead, do the challenge together. I'm gonna scroll up, go to my hands on orgs, pop up my developer beginner playground and open my developer console gear icon developer console and probably close all the previous ones yes just close and this one so let's see what we have over here scroll back down to the challenge so create a visual force page displaying new cases okay the page must be named new case list. Let's create the page first. So we are going to create two files. One is the page, the visual force page. The second one is the controller, which is an Apex class. Okay. So back to our developer console. This would be the page, new visual force page new case list and I'm just gonna save this one like that so next let's see the custom controller apex class must be named new case list controller and it would have the following the method get new cases use the return type of list of case return a list of case records that includes the ID and case number fields and filter it to only have a status of new All right flip back to our developer console file new apex class boom new case list controller so public class new case list controller so now i'm going to flip back to the playground no oh, the trailhead and copy the code we have from the example here let's see the controller part and we can just modify it here okay so I'm gonna copy that and paste it here and modify it first things we don't need the sort because the case is not to be sorted so we don't care about the sort we have to change the object public list is a case and the method is if I scroll down here get new cases okay a publicly scope method named get new cases all right I'm gonna copy that and flip here get new cases and and uh, um just ignore this okay you know the errors while you are working on here you don't care about this okay so a list of case get new cases a list of case results query what id what do we want to query id and case number okay so select id and case number we don't need this from what from cases from case and I don't want to order I want to say um, I don't want to limit as well I want to I want to have everybody there if I closed um, if I delete that and take this out you know what we don't have any I'm just gonna put it in one query here case number from cases from case where let me go back to my trail here um, status okay the status of the case equals new and then ID and case number where status equals what new
you would need to do that and that and then you need to close it like that whoops like that that so you have to escape this okay escape that and escape that and then we can actually do that clean that up there so list of case and name it results which we are going to return it the list of case and then query the database select the id and case number from case where status equals new i'm going to save that for now so we have the get new cases controller all right now the new case list visual for page must have or must use an apex repeat component which is bound to new cases refers to the variable attribute case and then we're going to loop through it and link it okay that's pretty straightforward so first off we need to define go back to the page here okay new case list dot vfp visual force page and define the controller because we are not going to use the standard controller and it's going to be the case uh, the apex class name new case list controller new case list controller bam save that so we got a controller or the engine there now we are going to do the what apex repeat it says apex repeat component all right oh what is this i got two of them i'm going to close this there apex repeat that boom and then the value would be new cases right new cases what is this this is going to be bound to the get new cases this is a getter method so you just bound to the new cases here okay that's how it works so value is new cases and then the variable name they tell us to use case variable name is case because they're going to check this all right so i'm going to variable name equals case you can do whatever you can do case loop or whatever you want to do but this is because the the challenge tells us to use case it doesn't have to be case but since the challenge tells us to use case then we're going to use it okay repeat so we have the repeat value and then what and then we want to um we want to output link apex output link and then the id of the case and then it's it should be linked to the record okay so let's do apex output link okay here apex output link and the value um the value of it the link would be curly bracket exclamation point with a slash i would think so it would start with a slash, right? And then case dot ID. Okay. Like that. And then does it have a label or not? No, it doesn't have a label. So because it doesn't have a label, I am going to put the actual case number on here between these tags. Okay. I'm going to do that and then case number or not case number case dot case number and save that so let's see case number is a field yeah so case dot case number so it's already picking just the new cases because we put on the circle where status equals new okay so it's gonna use the getter method and display it over here Okay, let's take a preview. Boom. Okay, it looks ugly here. 
Now let's put some break. This is case numbers, okay? If I minimize or just flip it back here and put some break here. Actually, we can put a list over here, right? If I put a list of cases like so, so like that, and then let's put the target also to a new window. So it's going to pop up. This is not required for the challenge. But I want it to pop up on a new window. So when we test it like this, it looks better. See, case number. If I click on it, pop up on a new window, it's going to go to the case number. And the status is only new here, right? So there we have it. So let me show you the code again. So basically, we have created the controller, right? With one getter method and do a sockle query. And then returns back the result, which is the list of cases. And then we display it using the new case um, method here. It's going to loop over it. And then use the output link like so. Remember to use the slash. So it's going to go to the correct record. And the target is new. So it's going to pop up. And just you just put whatever you want here. If I put like case. Like that, you can do that as well. So here, if I refresh, it's going to say case, right? So there we have it. We are going to now get the challenge and our new badge. Look at that. We finally finished our Visual Force Basics awesomeness. You've done so good and so far ahead. Okay, I want to sincerely congratulate you. You are one in a billion. Well, not a billion, probably one in a million. Because <laughs> if it's one in a billion, there's only seven of you, right? Because there are more of more more than seven. So one in a million. Woohoo! Congratulations! Good job! Let's keep on moving, dude. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom